Hello. <clears throat> Today I will build a scratch build wagon turntable for my 009 gold layout. The wagon turntable um, will sit in the corner of my layout in the future area of the distillery. Um, a few years ago I had built a wagon turntable for my anchor layout but this turntable was sent with the Invalail station modules to a member of the German British Railway and British Model Railway Forum. So, today I will show you how I built um, rotating but not electric, electric functioning working turntable. For these, I use some 1.0 millimeter styrene sheet, then some 0 0.5 millimeter styrene sheet, some piece of the Pico 009 track, um, compass cutter, a sharp scalpel or a hobby knife, A steel ruler, a hand drill, and later some super glue and some styrene cement. For preparation work, I have cut a nine millimeter wide strip as an alignment gouge for the track on the turntable and for aligning the turntable on the layout. I prepared this uh, before I start filming. You can see it slides in between the rails and later on this will help me to position the turntable on the layout. I also drilled a one millimeter thick hole in the middle of the gouge so that I can center these uh, on the turntable well. Next, I will use my I uh, use my compass cutter for cutting out the turntable deck, the coping stones for the turntable, and the turntable base. The turntable base is uh, or will be a square of the thin plastic sheet and the turntable deck and the coupling stones will cut from the one millimeter thick styrene sheet. Um, before I have filmed or before I have started filming I had measured the thickness of the sleepers and they are roughly about 1.5 four millimeters in thickness so I decided for uh, to use the uh, one millimeter and 0.5 millimeter serene sheet and I also measured the length for the turntable deck now I have set the ready on my compass cutter and will cut the 
turntable, coping stones and deck. Um, for these, the turntable, uh, I will cut first the outer diameter of the coping stones. I have started here and then these are cut. I will set my compass to the ready for the turntable deck and cut it in the same circle. Now I set for the radio of the turntable deck. And always start the outer circle and then the inner circle because when you start the inner circle and you've cut it out then you can't cut the outer circle anymore. And the turntable deck will fit in the well, the turntable deck will fit between the coping stones. Now I will cut the circle out so they can break up the excess material. Now, after the excess material is removed, I remove the turntable deck from the coping stones. So, now I've got the circle with my for my coping stones and the turntable deck. At the moment, won't turn freely but it will. So the next step is to carve um, the stones. I use my hobby knife. Later on I will use a file to deepen the grooves for the stones. Next I will use a sanding stick for filing um, for removing the flesh on the inside of the stones. And from time to time, look at the 
turn table deck rotates freely. And you can also um, send down the turntable deck. can also use your hobby knife to remove some material. Now it rotates. Good. Next step is to deepen the grooves. <clears throat> and now I'm removing the flesh from the cuts. Looks good. Now I'm cutting <clears throat> Point five plastic sheet. I mark the center. <clears throat> set my cutting compass to the inner diameter. Good I've already have made. And for speeding up the process of cutting out, I cut 
up from the back side too. Rotates. Now it's time to glue the base together. rotates and I will use this to uh, drill a hole in the center for later Oops. Okay. next step until the glue has dried is to remove some sleepers from the track. Okay, we'll cut about the length of the turntable base. deck but not entirely on the um, turntable base so that, uh, that I could cut the track on the turntable deck when the glue is dried and then after that I could position the turntable and glue down the tracks that lead to the turntable but for this I can also use my turn the, my click so for this I need the super glue my turntable deck and my click and uh, one millimeter drill. The 
turn tape deck on the rails. So we have to wait until the two has dried thoroughly. So see you again later. Hello and welcome back. We will continue with the work on the working turntable. The last time I glued down the weights to the deck or the turntable, but when I tried to um, shorten the wheel, they get loose, so I had to glue them. Now they are firmly glued in. I also sand it down around the turn table deck and now it moves more freely in the base. This, as you can see. So, next step, um, I thought about the place where it will go and about the ground cover, the area where the turntable will go in is in the distillery area and there, there will be a cobblestone yard and the rail the rails will be embedded in the to the cobblestones. So I have to wisen the stone capping of the turntable well so that the uh, it is just a bit below the rail head. Okay, first I will cut a piece of 0.5 millimeter serene and will cut a circle with a diameter of my turntable deck. Then I will mark the position of the tracks because this will uh, where the track will be the I can't use this sheet so because um, the sh um, grains have to be glued on the base for the turn table. So Let's start. Just needs to be about the size of my turntable base. Not exact. Then I will mark the center. is only for uh, filling up uh, hiding uh, capping stones I will enlarge the diameter of the circle a little bit Centered it, and before I will glue down this sheet, I will mark the position of the track. 
for this I use my template and then I can glue down the plastic sheet. Next step is to glue down the thin plastic sheet. First we'll start with the small segments because at the future position of the turntable there is not as much space to allow the entire base of the turntable to be located so I have to reduce the length here about a centimeter or a bit more and I have to cut away some styrene here but that I have to measure out. the feet and I will check my piece of rail that is wide enough yes as you can see the rails will fit in between the two thin sheets The next step will be that I will cut what they got here so that I can place the turntable in the intended area. Now I will remove the flash from the cut and next I will glue in <coughs> the plastic sheet when the glue has dried we will remove the off cut for my weights. So, and you can see here is also enough place for the track to fit in. So now we have to wait for the glue to dry. Um, For the track which will leave and go to the turntable, I will use pieces of Pico, uh, Pico Code 55 flex track uh, because I don't have any more 009 track available at the moment. So um, the Pico Code 55 track isn't a real code 55 uh, track system because the rails that they are using are um, special form code 80 tracks uh, which are uh, code 80 they use a special form code 80 rail which are embedded in the sleepers so that they give the illusion that the track is only a code 55 
track, but the rail height uh, is code 18. So you can use this, um, for example, in uh, locations where um, you don't see the sleepers on your nail gouge reload. Settled, so I can cut off the excess of the stable sheet. Okay, and now I will fit in a turn pivot deck and will mark the cuttings for the coping stones. Now I will glue in the coping stones. As you can see, I glued in the coping stones, and maybe you can see that the turntable deck it's lower than. Um, coping stones. Um, for embedding the turntable into the surrounding um, surface, I will also put in some stone sheet in here. I, you will use the offcuts from the sheets I yesterday and today. Here I have, yesterday I have marked the position of the track and I now uh, will remove the inside and the outside I can glue on the turntable deck. So, now for a test fit. See, I can rotate the turntable and I can glue down the pieces. But now I will surface of the turntable deck because uh, yesterday I have uh, used uh, much um, super glue and I may uh, send it uh, the surface so that uh, the styling cement will adhere probably to the turntable and the uh, piece here. Okay, now it's time to glue in pieces. I have to pile down the 
edge here so that it fits over the track. And on this piece I also have to send down the edge so that the selling sheet will fit over the rail base. And here too I will send the surface turntable deck because of the because of my excessive use of super glue yesterday. the glue has dried, we'll see, we'll see again. Okay, now the glue has dried and we can install the tracks leading to the turntable. I show you the procedure with one of the tracks and the other tracks I will put in place one after the other out the camera on and then most of the turntable build is done. The next step after I have glued down the track is painting the turntable and install the turntable with its tracks in the layout. But first we have to glue down the So these, uh, I've put some balsa wood on my cutting mat as a base and I will place my turntable base on it. Next I took my turntable deck, place it on the base. Now we have to use the chip I made earlier and I will push it into the track. So for the proper lining I will use my drill and place it the center. Now I will align the track so when this is in place some of the 
super glue. And now I can bring it back. And before I press down the track, I put in the drill. So now we have to wait for the glue to set and then I can we can continue the other tracks. Okay now it's time to fit in the turntable and its track. The super glue has dried as you can see and I position the warehouse on its place and now I will measure where I can cut the rails. Cutting the rails, I'm using my Xu on track cutter. And now I will remove one of the one of the ties so that I can fit the fish plates. Fasting the track, I'm using a few nails and super glue. Using the pins or the nails for holding the track down until the um, super glue is set. I don't use PVA here because I want uh, because of the there's a risk if I use PVA that when I do the ballasting that the track comes loose. And as I will put some body filler over the track, you can't see the nails later. Okay, this is fixed now for the super glue. I pulled it at a few points, spots. This should do. And now I will give the capping of the turntable a base coat of grey paint. And when the base coat is dry, I will then dry brush the cabin stones. The uh, 
turned here the deck well with paper in it as I said and after this the turntable is ready for use. As this is the prime not primed, I would have to paint a few layers on the happy stones. So we'll give the base a bit of grey paint. Just in case that the paint in the table broke off so that you don't see the white the polystyrene. see again when the paint is dried and the turntable deck is pre-painted. Okay, the grey paste paint has, is dry. Now I will put on some black wash. These are made of isopropyl alcohol and in the ink and then this is dried it's time for dry brushing the popping stones okay now the black wash is dry and also the spray paint on the turntable deck which I show you here I first primed it with a edge primer in grey and then applied a rusty colored universal primer um, I did this because I discovered that that this universal primer don't stick well on the pure plastic so after applying um, a coat of grey edge primer um, the universal primer stuck well so and here you can see the turntable could be rotated it's a bit stiff at the moment but I will send down the edges and for a better reliance I will put in some Teflon powder. Now it's time for dry washing. First I use some grey paint. Next color I'm using is some um, brown. And at last I will use some ivory color. Voilà. 
Now you can see the finished result of my scratch built wagon turntable. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and give me a thumb up or like and subscribe. So see you again soon. Bye.